How to import records using a standard import map in 1099 Pro Corporate Suite. How to import records using the standard Excel import map in the 1099 Pro Corporate Suite software. This tutorial will show you how to import records into the software. Once a filer has been created, you can begin adding forms manually or by importing files. For this video, we are using import maps created with our sample import files. These Excel spreadsheets already have header fields set up using our standard names. If required, you can create your own import map based on the files of your source systems. To import records using the 1099 Pro Excel template, make sure the Excel spreadsheet is prepared. If you have not set up your Excel file, use our template, available on the 1099 Pro Wiki website. To find it, navigate through the following website, https wiki.1099pro.com import field definitions and data types, form import fields, form specific fields, select the tax year and form type of your choosing. This wiki location also explains the field definitions for each column on the import map. For instance, it shows you how many characters can fit in each name or account field. We will download and use the 1099 miscellaneous template. Click on the link 1099 misc 2019 .xlsx. Another window will appear with our template. Click on the download button in the upper right hand menu. The tab will appear on the lower left hand corner of the screen. Click on the tab and our spreadsheet will open in Excel. You will notice that these files already contain sample data. You can either remove the sample data and paste your own data into the corresponding columns or you can update your internal spreadsheet to use the same column headers that are displayed in the sample file. Please also be aware that there is a key on the second tab of the spreadsheet that has beneficial notes such as a key to the color coding and links to the wiki field specifications, a note that the order of the column headers does not matter, a note that you do not need to use every column header that you see on the sample file. You can use only the column headers that pertain to you. And lastly, you should always be conscious that Excel can drop leading zeros from columns unless the column is formatted as text. In our sample files, we have already saved the recipient TIN, SSN or EIN, zip code, account number, and other critical fields as text for you in order to help prevent this. If you created your own Excel file, you will definitely want to double check this. When your file is ready, save the file to a new name and a known location and close the Excel spreadsheet. In your 1099 Pro software, click on Import New Tax Forms. This is located in the upper left hand corner under step one, preparing my tax forms. A window will appear asking you to select which series of tax forms you would like to import. For our example, we will pick the first one listed. Press OK to continue. This will bring you to the import session history screen for the form series that was chosen. From here, you can view past import sessions, run reports, reset or void a previous session, or begin a new import. To begin the import process, click on Begin a new 2019 import process located near the upper left hand corner of the import sessions history screen. This will initiate the import load wizard. Under step one, import map, select which form type you are going to import from the drop down menu. In this example, we will import 1099 miscellaneous forms. Then click on choose import map. Since we use the 1099 Pro Excel template, select Excel under the file format section. Then select OK, valid for use, under the Map Status section. Highlight your Excel standard import map for 2019 from the list of import maps. Click on the Select Map button. The details of your import map will now be displayed in the box right below. Now under Step 2, Import File, click on Browse to navigate to the Excel spreadsheet that we saved earlier. Once located, double-click on the file. You will now see some of the record information in the window under the file name. This window is just to provide a glimpse of the information in the file so you can confirm you selected the right file. Do not worry about how the text is formatted at this point. Next, under Step 3, Select Filer, you should see the current filer that the imported records will be associated with. If you need to select a different filer, click Select Filer and choose the filing entity that you would like to import into. Once selected and highlighted, click on the Select the Highlighted Filer button. For corporate suite users that are using multi-filer import maps where the filer information is contained within the import file itself, this option will be grayed out. 
Now you have the optional step to preview any errors and warnings without actually importing the data. If you would like to preview the errors and warnings, press the Test My Import File for Problems Now button. The software will now display a preview of any errors and warnings, but please note that you are not able to change any of the data from here. If there are a lot of errors and or warnings, then it is best to cancel out of the process and clean up the import file before trying again. To move forward, press close at the bottom lower right of the screen. Next, specify the status of your import. In most cases, the default status of pending should be selected. Click load my file to continue. A pop-up window will appear letting us know that import step one of three is complete. It will also list how many records were loaded. Press OK to continue. We will be returned to the import screen where all of your import sessions will be listed. Our most recent session will be listed at the top with the status of loaded. Highlight that session and click on continue with session at the bottom of the screen. The software will now display a preview of all records in the import session and their associated statuses. Statuses can vary between OK, warning, error, and reject. All warnings, errors, and rejects will float to the top of the list of records. If everything looks good, click on the Post This Session button located at the bottom right of the screen. This will initiate the Import Post Wizard for 2019 Tax Forms window. Steps 1 and 2 will be available if your file has any records that have warnings or errors, otherwise they will be grayed out. If you do have warnings or errors, the default settings are that any record with warnings or errors should be posted. This is generally the best course of action as you don't always have the correct information to fix the issues. However, you can always come back to run a report and or fix them at a later date. Step 3 will only be available if your software has the recipient list turned on in security and administration, otherwise it will be grayed out and will not be applicable. The default setting of match and update the recipient list information should be chosen unless your company specifically uses other options. This option will update any existing recipient information in the software's recipient list with the new information that was just imported. Step 4 is an optional field that corresponds to the column named form source in our Excel sample file. This field is helpful if you are importing many files into the same filer and want to be able to filter out records from specific import sessions later on. For example, we could put a form source of Western in any blank field, or you can pick all the incoming records. Later on, you could set up a filter to view only these records with a form source of Western. It is not necessary to fill out. For our example, we will leave it blank. Step 5 will only be available if you are performing a transactional or aggregational import, otherwise it is grayed out and will not be applicable. This option gives you the ability to specify an accounting date, which is like a transaction date. This is associated with each record that is imported in this file. Our example is using a standard import map, so we will click on Post My Import File Now. A pop-up window will appear letting us know that Import Post is complete. It will also list how many records were posted and how many forms had errors and or warnings. Click Yes on the pop-up window to review your newly imported records. Here, in the Work with My Tax Forms screen, you can continue working with your forms. Now that your records are in the pending status, you can edit your forms, print reports, print recipient copies, or send an upload file to the 1099 Pro Service Bureau for printing and mailing. Thank you!